All right, man. Sketchpad Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be reacting to Adam Twenty Two Rage Quitting, walking off the fa- the whatever podcast. Uh, shout out to the Black Conservative Perspective page. Um, we're gonna use his uh reaction because for some reason this clip has too many clips and. I like his reaction to it. So he ain't talking that much. So we're going to get into it. We'll be back. Who raised you? Oh, my God. It was so hard. Oh! last bar was crazy oh my god uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves you know that's why they have parents oh you need each other what yo i can't understand it neither i'm just ahead of it now ah uh, yeah man we back man before we get into that like share subscribe hit the thumbs up button hit that notification bell you know what i'm saying sketchpad podcast if you'd like to donate links in the description youtube you know, YouTube, we ain't going to get into that. You know what I'm saying? If you want to, you know, donate, description, you know what I'm saying? And if you want to, uh, if you can't donate, just share the video. All right, look, here we go. Adam 22. Uh, I can't remember this guy's name up here. The guy, the black guy, but he's pretty mm-hmm. popular right now. Uh, but, it, you know, eventually we'll remember his name. So let's get it. What, what, what's what's a euphemism? What's a euphemism? Smaller words. Oh damn! damn. Okay, goddamn. No, okay, I mean, all right. Smaller words. I got you. You're you're I got women. you. Right. Euphemism is a nice way <laughs> of saying something. Right. Smaller right. words. And circumlocution. Wow. Anyway, look. I said that there's a lot of women on this panel, so I we got need smaller you. Yeah, words. Let me break this down. <laughs> we got a pearl on our hands over here. So, so here's the thing. You know damn well you're not monogamous. We are on off camera. Right, so it's like going into the metaverse is not necessary. There, there, there's no life on camera and life off camera. It's either there you're is. either you're monogamous or you're not monogamous. If you got a movie role and second. you yeah. kissed but, a girl in the movie <laughs> role, would you still be monogamous in your relationship? I mean, I realize that the sex thing is more of a Whoa. real physical Whoa. fact, right? Did you compare a movie no. kiss? You compared a movie kiss to your girl getting smacked well, down? It literally by is. It's still they're making a piece act. of content. They're ma- That's crazy. <laughs> What? You compared your girl, your wife, to a movie role? What? Oh, man. He, bro, Adam 22, bro, you need to just be quiet. Let's just finish this because this ain't that long. Yeah. Making a film. I actually agree with him. I would say that's not being. I feel like you're intentionally misunderstanding what I'm saying. No, but see here, there's levels to it, right? And that's what Adam 22 doesn't understand. There's levels to it. There's a difference between kissing in the (laughs) real deal Holyfield. Okay, the real deal Holyfield (laughs) is much more intimate than kissing. Now, kissing can be intimate. Okay, but again, you got to understand there's there's levels to it. Okay, and in Hollyweird, even when they are assimilating the, you know, real deal Holyfield, there is no penetration right they're not actually really doing it it's just a simulation again the reason why is because that's a whole different level of intimacy than just kissing right so regardless of whether or not it's being done on or off camera you're allowing your wife to submit to other men in the most intimate way possible also by the way your wife is not a hollywood actress okay she is an adult actress, right? Those are two different things. She doesn't get paid to act. She gets paid to get them cheeks clapped, right? That's what she gets paid to do. Okay, those are two different things. Hollywood <laughs> actors don't get paid to uh, have sex. They don't get paid to have sex. <laughs> they get paid to act. Your wife, on the other hand, she's literally getting paid to perform, right? To do the real deal, Holyfield, to be intimate, okay? On camera, that's what she's getting paid to do. There's a huge difference there that clearly this guy doesn't really comprehend. He doesn't comprehend it. He thinks that just because it's on camera that that changes the dynamic. 
that all of a sudden it makes it not real when no, 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 it's real. I guarantee you there are emotions that are happening that are being exchanged. Okay. On camera with your wife and other men, it has to, that's just how it goes when you have that level of intimacy, uh, between men and women. Okay. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty obvious that there is a difference between doing things off camera. Let me ask you a question. If you think I'm intentionally misunderstanding, you think if we took a poll right now, we said, would you consider Adam's relationship monogamous? Would people vote yes, it's monogamous, or no, it's not monogamous? Obviously, it comes with a very big caveat that says, why must there be a caveat? On camera, the rules are slightly. But that's the whole point. There's no caveat. You're creating a no, there false is a caveat. frame. I just named the caveat. You're creating I think a, everybody a false here frame. actually yeah. understands it, right? Yeah. No, yeah, no, I mean, that's every, not true. Everybody, you see all no, the girls no. nodding their heads? No. <laughs> that's because you have three conservative individuals here, and then you have everyone else here as in. She, seems, she just said she understands Dude, what I'm saying. Say. Yeah, but why did put her between? This is confusing, right? Oh yeah, we we both know we're not going to agree on that, but I think it's very disingenuous to call it monogamy when it's not monogamy. And the only reason monogamy off camera. That's like me saying that you know inside of this room. You don't really need to say it's like anything. It just is a statement of fact, right? No, no, it's not because you're creating a false condition, as though life is different when you turn on a camera and turn off a camera. I think when I say monogamy, monogamy on or off camera, I think everyone understands. This is really important. No, I like I like where we're at right now. What we're experiencing is that you know what you're doing is wrong, so you have this duality in your mind and in your psyche to make you feel like because. Because you turn on the camera and because you're getting paid, now it's okay. When in actual Facts. fact, That's I'll tell you how we know it's wrong. Facts. Would you feel comfortable if your father was watching your OnlyFans and subscribing to it? Probably not, no. You would not feel comfortable, and I'll tell you why. That's because in your heart of hearts, in your soul, if you still got one, you know it's wrong. And I'll give you an example. That's your work. In my work, if my mother consumed my work, I'd be thankful and pleased that she took an interest in my work and supported my work. If she bought my products, I'd be thankful. If your mother or father bought your products, you'd be disgusted and ashamed because you know what you're doing is wrong and the product of what you're doing is bad. First of all, I don't know. Wow. Oh my God, yo. Wow. Hey. Right. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. What? That was a smoke session. Smoke. Yo, who is this guy? I need to subscribe to his channel. Who I is this guy? His name. I can't, but we gonna put his name. His name. We gonna get his name. Don't worry about that. Man. That was smoke. What? Yo. Oh my god. Wow. It's hard to disagree with what this guy just said. And by the way, this guy's name is is Saint the Sinner, right? So I think he's like a YouTuber or something like that. So, okay. yeah, it's hard to disagree okay. with what the guy is saying here. I mean, he's, he's right. He knows that, you know, Adam has created this dichotomy in his head to justify something that he knows is not right. Okay. He knows it's not right because he doesn't allow his wife to sleep with other men off camera. Okay. Because he knows the connection and the intimacy that happens when you, you know, have sex. He knows that. But again, he's made it okay on camera as a way to justify something that he knows is wrong, right? He's created this this situation where he says, well, it's okay because it's on camera because we get paid for it. It's just a job. But just because it's just a job does not take away from the fact that the act in and of itself is happening and you're letting your wife submit to other men in the most intimate way possible <laughs> for money, right? I mean, it, it, again, whether it's on camera, whether you get paid for it, that doesn't change the fact that you're letting your wife get her cheeks clapped by other men and that there are emotions and connections that are exchanged and made from these acts that she's doing with other men. And that's the reason why you don't let her do it off camera, as far as he knows, by the way. We really don't know. Because the reason why he's not okay with it off camera because he knows that that level of intimacy happens and the consequences of allowing your wife to develop that type of intimacy with another man. But again... He's trying to justify it in his head because it's on camera and he's getting paid for it. I'm only fan, so like, don't throw me in that. Okay. But I feel like it's like what, what I want. What I want my dad to watch me having sex with someone else, recorded or not. Like you do things like you don't want your parents to see everything that you're doing. Did and you understand how do you my know point? To him, like it's a bad thing. Like how do you know that they're ashamed? Real of quick, it? did like, you understand my point? Not. You see, this is. I'm gonna get into with a lot of stuff at the end of this, but. Let's continue. It's almost over.
What? Did you comprehend my point? I understand your point, okay, but good, I mean, I do agree with him. I think off camera, they are monogamous. It, like it's acting. It's like kissing someone in a movie. Like Okay, let me let me give you movies. Let me ask you a question. I, I don't oh, do acting. I don't do on Let me fans, ask you a question. But I still agree. I do think they are in a monogamous relationship off camera. You don't camera. do on OnlyFans. I don't. What do you do? Uh, I do like sexy photos. Yeah. Do sexy photos. Mm -hmm. Nude photos. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Here we got a jokester. <laughs> here we got a jokester. You gotta subscribe. I mean, I don't know. You gotta see for yourself. Yeah. I would never. Yeah. So you seen that? You heard that? Okay. Um, I would clearly, never. you have some people that may not necessarily be in touch with the reality of the profession that they're in like, and what on, is bro. actually called. But anyways, we're gonna fast forward to. Part of the interview, uh, right before Adam Twenty Two uh, rage quits and leaves, because this guy is <laughs> basically being too logical. Okay, uh, he's gonna he's gonna rage quit and leave, but we gotta play this part leading up to it because it's it's brutal, right? It's so brutal. What skills do you have that would help you earn a six figure plus income at age twenty eight? You're right, nothing. There's nothing that I there's no skills that I have at all. You're trying to escape. There's nothing. But, but I'm there's saying no, no there's no skills. No, right. you're right. Because you're right. you're a cocktail server right. in Las Vegas. Yeah. Right? And there's nothing else yes. that I have to offer. And you, she's trying to play it off right now, and that's a that's a strategy. Very nice. What's the strategy? Tell us. Uh, um Please. but the fact is Doctor. I live in Las Vegas. I, I've seen your type many times. Generally they're younger. Gotcha. But the point you're is getting old, this. I know, man. You're, you're, I'm no, really. Over here honestly, they should they should be firing you. Me. Yeah, no, they should be. I don't know about that, but they should certainly be firing you and get someone of the appropriate age to do such a low level job. Oh, yeah. But the point is this you why are you opening your mouth wide like that? It's not time. She, <laughs> Bring I the camera out. She's ready. But here's the point. Here's the Yo. point. You're currently a cocktail server, mm -hmm. which consists of hey, I'll have a Jack and Coke. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you walk away, tell someone else Jack and Coke. Mm -hmm. They hand you a Jack and Coke. You come back and bring it back to me mm -hmm. and hope that I would give you a good tip. Mm -hmm. That's your skill set. Mm -hmm. And what about it? It's a hard work. <laughs> and what about it? It's a hard right. work. And what about yeah. it? Yeah, there is no skill set is the point, which is to say if I took and your brain, it? if I took your brain and placed your brain into a man's body, you would be in poverty. Mm. Wow. Boy. <laughs> that was brutal. That's, that's probably one of the most brutal things I've ever heard a man say to a woman. Period. <laughs> wow. I mean, this what? this guy, this guy went on this podcast and just destroyed everybody, right? I mean, it's at the point now where it's hard to watch. Okay. You caught me because you're brainless. Oh, Carrying on. You're right. Yeah. I'm just good for nothing. Yep, you comment. No, you are good for something. That's why you have OnlyFans. And that's my point, is that oh, that's what you're good for. Oh, jeez. And I, I, I'm i not trying to be rude, but it's just that we're... I think we're, you are trying to be rude. No, think, I'm just being no, honest. No, I mean, being honest about I mean, do, honest about, I mean, do, do you even, be, do you even uh, know who I am as a person? I mean, before, yeah. like, throwing these insults that I'm just this brain dead fucking ad woman who has hominin. nothing no, that's to offer? I think we should avoid ad hominem. But is it that's ad hominem when you actually... There were some. There were some. But Brainless over, might be... A little. Ah, do you? I think. Do you even know me? Like ah, you don't even. And you're only you, calling me brainless because I'm the only one responding to you. Do you think? You know what I think? So, so has him so a little bit upset. What? Just so you know, mm -hmm. every girl sitting on this side of the table earns more money than him. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> he's an imposter. <laughs> he uh, he's been outed in the past. And he's for, mad about it. He basically he's LARPs honestly, as a rich guy on the it, internet. If I was and absolutely I just, poor, it would mean nothing. All the girls, it would mean nothing. I think we all are in kind of an agreement that we don't really want to sit here and listen to someone who's basically a scam artist tell us what's wrong exactly. with our lives. Yeah, this what, is what, amazing. What do you do? For, what do you do so I'm amazing. Kind of on money? the edge of walking out, Brian. I'm gonna be totally real. What do you do for work? I just don't want to listen to a scam artist tell me what's wrong with our lives. What do you do for work? You can Google my name know who right you now. Are. You Let's, can Google my name. If you right Google now. his Does name, know you'll, this guy's you'll, name? You'll and be I hurt, exhilarated. I hurt your feelings earlier, and you, you didn't hurt my feelings at all. It's just you're earlier. trying to and do this whole, whole moral superiority thing, and it's not working the whole because chat you're broke. Your feelings. The whole you're chat actually is, broke. Here's the funny. You got a milk dud on top of your head. Here's the funny thing. I'm just being real with you. If I was actually broke, it literally would mean nothing to me. Why did you do an NFT scam on your fans for like four hundred? 
silliness. What's he? Checkmate. He, silliness. He, this guy's a scammer. Wait, wait, guys, so, guys, guys, guys. Is that a job that's being a scammer? I'm going to leave, Adam, and if any Adam, girls want to leave wait, wait, with me, I'd be happy to take you with me. He's rage quitting. He's rage quitting. It's not a rage quit. It's just you're not on the level of me or any of these girls. He's rage quitting. Guys, 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 hold on. Let's just let's just take a little pause I didn't mean to make him rage quit. I'm done, Brian. I just I don't want to listen to this guy anymore, and I feel like I might do something extreme if I were to stick around. When I first walked in, I said, I might have to polish that milk. I, when I first <laughs> walked, guys, when guys, I saw you downstairs, you guys, I said, do you want the fade? And wow. you said no. <sighs> okay. See what you When I first did? walked in, I said, do Thanks you want the fade? Lot. You said no. We could have took care of that before the show started. <laughs> Did you, do you guys have like some pre existing beef or something? Listen, can we, okay, can well, we switch Adam? When I came in, when I came in downstairs, the first thing I said when I saw him, I said, do you need that fade? And he said, no, <gasps> it's just content. Oh, I didn't know you guys had like Yeah, as a... soon as I walked up, I said, do you need that fade? And he said, no, it's Can just content. Oh, but I mean, like, did you guys have like a previous... Uh... Yeah, Wait, because what, I that? went on No Jumper. He waited until I left the state of California, and then he started talking crazy. And I said, if you had an issue with Marquette Devon Burton, you could have said that to me when I was right there in your studio. Like, you don't have to wait oh, until I leave. Did you do an episode with him? I, listen, I was like, you don't have to wait until I, I leave. I don't know. And then he DM'd me on Instagram, like, hey, bro, you, we got to, like, do a show when you come back. It's like, Wait, you're phony. She, are you leaving? Yeah. So, <laughs> out of 22, Rage quits because he doesn't want to hear this guy <laughs> continue to be logical about the fact that his relationship is illogical, right? <laughs> ah, yeah, we'll be back, man. Yo. That's safe, dude. Yo, safe. You need to come on the show, man. You my hero, bro. <laughs> you my hero, man. Uh, listen, you my hero. Shout out to you, bro. Uh, Seriously, <laughs> man. You got tagged in this video, man. Yo, we definitely do. We definitely listen, do. I, I just, I just followed him. Listen, man. Let me explain something to y'all, man. That was a brutal takedown of epic proportions. He told the girl, if I take your brain out of your body and put it into a man, you'll be useless. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, your, your brain. Like, you are Herman Monster. Is, her? is, like, my thing is, this is what really, really pisses me off about women like that, right? Is they have tunnel vision. All these, and, and Adam 22 knows better. He's no, He's not stupid. And for and Adam 22, you made yourself look stupid by rage quitting, bro. Like, whether you say rage quit or not, you quit. So you couldn't have a constructive dialogue with the man. So the first thing you did was you try to you try to put a label on him. You said, well, you a scammer and you're broke. You're just mad because all the girls here have more money than you. Wait a minute. None of this conversation was about money. The conversation is about you having morals about you letting your wife have sex with other men. That's what the conversation was about. And you're trying to separate the two, trying to make it seem like, oh, well, when we do it on camera, it's theater. It doesn't mean anything. But when the camera's off, our relationship is intact. It's like, what? It's like me telling my girl or telling some girl I deal with, oh, well, guess what? I, f I fucked her on camera, so that doesn't count. <laughs> It only counts if I have sex not on camera. Like, what? So the act of sex doesn't count when you have an intercourse because it's being recorded? That doesn't make any sense. How does that remove the feeling? It's still a good feeling, right? Mm -hmm. So this is my thing like with Adam-22. He's so full of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, Adam-22, you're full of shit, bro. A hundred percent full of shit. Whether you, whatever you do with your wife, I don't care. But you can't come in the public and act as if, like, you ain't doing nothing wrong and people don't supposed to judge you about it. If you did that behind closed doors and nobody knew about it, nobody wouldn't care. But you're the one that decided to put it out there. And when you put it out there now, you get mad or you get some feel some type of way. When some dude come on here and he smoked you, he smoked you. And then the dude asked you earlier, you said, oh, I might do something crazy. Or, and he said, well, I asked you earlier, did you want the fade? And you said, no, I'm just here to get some great content. 
So the dude basically said, look, you want to fight? We can fight. But see, this is the thing. And I, and I like Adam 22 to a certain extent. So I'm not going to really rag on him like that. But I am going to say that the women, all of them have tunnel vision. And it pisses me off because you could say something like, you could bring up a topic and you basically give a general, a general, uh, 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 something about something generally about it. Right. And what they'll do is they'll attach it to them and say, well, no, it's me. And I don't do that. But I didn't say you did that. I said, this is a general thing. Well, no, you got to understand. I know one other person that don't do it either. So that means that nobody does it. Like, what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, they all have tunnel vision as if they don't understand nothing that they're saying. And it pisses me off. You don't understand what the man is talking about? The man literally said, would you be okay with your dad watching your OnlyFans? The girl going to say, well, I don't do uh, sexual content on OnlyFans. Well, what are you doing on OnlyFans? I show my body off. Do you show your body off naked? Yes, sometimes. That's not sexual! <laughs> This is what I mean. These people are so disingenuous. They just don't, they want to be right so bad that they just dance around everything. And it's disgusting. But yeah, man, you go ahead. Okay. First off, right, I want to say this. What does money have to do with, 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 with the subject matter that, you know, with the discussion? What, what does money have to do with it? Like, so that man being whatever and he brings the points to the table oh all of a sudden it don't mean nothing because you guys might possibly make more money than him that doesn't make any sense it's still even if you guys do make more money than that guy it still doesn't you know escape the fact that you allowed another man to sleep with your wife on camera, the whole world seen it. And it's not like something that could have been seen because you could have kept it to yourself and no one would care. No one would care. You see, this is the problem with the world today, right? They take something, they take a union, let me say, they take a union like marriage and they, and they twist it, they twist it and they add their own narratives to it. They add their own narratives and they take all the morals and the values of marriage and they put all these things into it that don't belong. That don't belong. Don't belong, period. You know what I mean? And the only reason why he caught feelings is because he knew the guy was right. He knew he was right. And his wife knew he was right too. Oh, that's why, oh, I feel like after, after I sleep with the guy, you know, it brought me and Adam close. Yeah, I bet it did bring y'all close. Because somehow, some way, logically, in that inner self of yours, you felt that it was wrong. You, there's no way of escaping that. If you grew up with some sort of morals, you know it's wrong. You can't escape those type of things, those type of emotions, those type of feelings where you know something is wrong, that inner conscious within you that you grew up with, you can't escape that. It tells you it's wrong. Simple. So, hey, listen, at the end of the day, you know, like, like I, I, I don't get me wrong. I like Adam uh, 22's uh, podcast and all that, but we definitely disagreeing on this one, bro. Like you, you bugging, you bugging, you tripping, bro. Like it, there's no way, there's no way on God's green earth anybody with any common sense is going to agree with you on that. Simple, simple as that. Yeah, he. he yeah. He just, he just, it's just a bet. It's just the better, the best way to say it. He's just exploiting your wife, and you getting away with it. Yeah, because y'all making money off of, off of, uh, you, you know, y'all making money off of adult content, and 
that's just that. And you, and you, you probably keeping all the money or pocketing most of it. She gets some of it, whatever, but it, it, I don't know. It's just weird. And it's nasty. It's disgusting, bro. You married your wife for you to be with your wife sexually, not for you to marry your wife and your wife be with multiple guys. I just think that that's nasty. I'm sorry. I would never let another man touch my wife. Not even a hug. I'm sorry. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm I'm uncomfortable with a nigga touching my wife if she if he's giving her a hug. I'm de I'm dead serious. You know what I'm saying? Because that's mine. You know what I'm saying? And the same thing with me. I wouldn't want my wife to be the same exact way. I know people say, oh, that's kind of extreme. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. But either way, man. Get that. We out of here. See you. Peace. Bye.